Make sure it's broadcasting to YouTube. Should be. Oh, it says it's connecting, so we're up. We just can't see it. Maybe we can do like a refresh or something. There you go. Hmm, maybe go home? go up to the top bell and see if maybe it's giving you a notification. Nope. Okay. I Let hope me go we're back on over here and I'll start it again. Well, it says we're on. It's just for some reason it's not showing it. Um, we should be streaming. Let's hope we are. So let's um, hope we are. So you want to go see if you can get us on YouTube? Yeah, let's see. Right, maybe we're there. Maybe we're not. Hey, bad weather. Yeah. Bad weather. There we go. Right there. Boom. Beautiful. Great. All right, guys. All right. So I'm going to apologize because we do have some pretty bad weather today. Um, it is storming, so please let us know that you can hear us, see us. Oh, you know what? I think you're on, uh, switch to the second one because this one has the little, well, I guess that's okay to have the little bottom screen down there. That's all right. Hmm? Actually, you see, okay, see here on the oh, bottom. Oh, yeah. I but I think that's that. okay, actually. I think that's all right that they can see that. That's yeah, good. We'll go back to it. All right. Well, hey, happy Friday, everybody. I'm David Gross with Condi Systems, and of course, uh, Sprite is with us today as usual, and uh, we are honored to be here and want to show you all sorts of cool, neat stuff uh, that's, that's right. going on in our world, and uh, tell everybody that, um, you know, sublimation decorating, very much like electricity, it's always looking for new things to power, and um, uh, we wake up in the morning, uh, go to sleep at night, thinking about all the great products we can bring to market. And the good news is you folks out there are part of our community and help us um, bring all these products to market, come up with the great suggestions. And I think we've got a couple of exciting things for you. But before we get to those, just a couple of um, upcoming things. Uh, we have a webinar on Monday with uh, Jimmy Lamb. And uh, the webinar will be on copyrights and trademarks. So recommend that. If uh, you cannot attend the webinar, then no worry. We will post it um, on, on all the usual places like YouTube, Facebook, uh, for you to watch later. Uh, number two is next week we will be at the NBM show in Long Beach. Very exciting. And I know, Sprite, you want to go, but uh, Jeff Butler is going. And um, that show will be Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, the good news is if you're in that area, it's, it's all free. Um, so um, classes and, and the trade show. I will be teaching my class with uh, Jeff Butler helping on Thursday at 10 o'clock to 1130. And um, I always tend to struggle to uh, finish at 1130. Uh, but the good news is if you attend the class, I will give out a $25 coupon for those brave souls that listen to me for an hour and a half. So the class is on best practices, a lot of fun. And then after the class, of course, you can go hit the show floor and visit our kiosk, uh, visit our booth. And of course, we even have a second booth, Coloring with Condi. And that booth, you can sit down, relax a little bit, and using the artist-free markers, which are just amazing, um, you can color and then bring the paper back to the booth, and we will press it onto one of our great substrates for you. 
I think we've got a couple of surprises with new additions to the kiosk and substrates that we'll be doing at the show. So check it out. I think I'm going to be doing some of the, um, I hope, some of the 5 by 7 textured panels with the kickstock, ki uh, uh, kickstand. So I hope we've yep. got those yep. packed in there. We do. Um, so all sorts of great things happening at the show. Um, also, at the booth, we'll be giving out another coupon, uh, also for $25. So if you just stop by, um, you know, we want to load you up with great reasons to try out new products. Um, maybe try out some products that you haven't uh, done lately. So a great opportunity. And the third thing I want to mention is um, one of the most exciting, uh, if not the most exciting event this year in the sublimation world, and that is the Sublimation Summit. And that's occurring uh, late September. The 28th and the 29th. And you can check out the website at sublimationsummit.com. And that's a two-day event, although you can buy a pass for one day. Two-day event where um, you, there are about 30 different educational classes. Um, Sprite and I will both be teaching there. Yep. And I'll be teaching a, a basic take the printer out of the box, get it set up, do some prints kind of class. And then another class, intermediate to advanced, on uh, more of my best practices for sublimation success. Sprite, what will you be teaching? So I'm teaching two classes as well, and the first one is kind of uh, design and marketing and, um, you know, setting yourself apart in this market. And then the second one is going to be what's new with sublimation. So all of our new toys and our new techniques. I uh, Hopefully I'm going to be uh, unveiling some new stuff during that class. So uh, it'll, be, it'll be exciting. It'll be exciting. Very exciting. Yeah. So um, very much check it out. And the best part is that if you go to the website and you go, I want to give you a coupon code. Um, you'll get $50 off. And um, it's Condi50, C-O-N-D-E-50. I forgot to mention lots of stuff. It's just how my brain works, right? Um, got some uh, coconut water today. How about that? Yeah. You know? I'm almost done you? with it. Okay. Yeah. Um, is, it's in the Atlanta area. And the Atlanta area um, um, is an area we just don't go to a lot. It's close to Mobile, and, and I'm going to drive there. But um, for whatever reason, there's just not a lot of trade shows and things like that. So um, I'm hoping all the folks in that area come out because um, I, there, there has not been ever, in my mind, an event that had all these great classes, um, you know, just so many of my, my peers will be there teaching. Um, also, there will be exhibits. Um, so it, it just will be fantastic. So the, the Sublimation Summit, um, this is the first year of it, and it is a, a incredible event for you to network with uh, hundreds of other um, sublimators. If you're new, absolutely there for you. If you're advanced, also. Um, just crack classes. If you go to somebody summit, I think you'll be just dumbfounded by the number of, of instructors uh, teaching classes. So, lots of great topics. Um, so take advantage of that. Anything else before we move on? Yes. Front? Yes. So, quite a few things. All right, guys. So we're gonna be doing some new stuff today. We're gonna be thinking outside the box. I'm gonna show you guys a new thing that I've been working on. Plus, at the end of the show, we're going to be giving away, um, you know, we're going to do guess the weight so you can uh, have a chance to win all the stuff that I press. Um, and then also, uh, we're going to be giving away the art pack. So hopefully the weather holds on and we can give away the art packs. But I need you guys to share my video and, and let's, let's get our viewership up there. And, and I've got three really, really cute pieces of art to give out. Uh, David, it says you're fading out. So if we, if we have any issues... Is that the story of my life? Yeah, it says my, your audio my. is going in and out. If, okay. If we're well, having any issues, it may be due to the weather. It is storming really, really yeah. bad here. I, I forgot one thing. Um, probably forgot lots of stuff. But um, we have, um, for folks that need a printer, 
um, need another printer, need a new printer, need one to expand, um, we have put the printers, the 400 and 800, on sale, um, and um, uh, really good, good deals, um, extra special deals. Um, and in order to see it, you've got to put it in your shopping cart to see the price. So if you go to the website, it's going to say add to cart to see the price. I think you'll, you'll love what we've done with the sale. And these sales are what we're doing in preparation for the Long Beach trade show. But the best part, when we do trade show sales, they're for everybody. You don't have to attend the show to take advantage of the trade show specials. So um, uh, go check that out. Um, as always, we've got a great staff of Condi reps that can help you, um, help you plan your order, help you um, avoid mistakes like needing an accessory or something for a product you're, you want to purchase. So, so lots of great opportunities um, to um, take advantage of that. Okay? All right. All right, guys. So, yeah, so we got all kinds of fun things going on today. We got new products. We got thinking outside the box. We got guests to wait. We got review winners. Um, don't forget, you beautiful people out there, um, if you go to our website and go to the product page that you just bought, go down to the bottom, go to the review tab, leave me a review. I will give one lucky uh, person $25 uh, in Condi credit. So we're going to do that at the end of the show. I've got a gallery contest winner, and yeah. Yeah. So oh, let's one more ahead. thing yeah. forgot, and that is that um, if you place your orders online, uh, as soon as you place it, you can go right up to the shopping cart and your account and look at your orders that you've placed and click on the order to view it. You can immediately download the templates for the items you've purchased. Um, and so that's, com that's very convenient for you to get to the product and, and download the template. Um, and, uh, you know, we're, we're always upgrading our templates to... Um, to make them better, more flexible, especially for the, um, the silhouette crowd and the Creative Studio crowd. So for the Creative Studio crowd, that's the software that comes with the, the SG400 for folks that don't own any software and, and, and need something to begin with. You can use our PNG files um, in uh, Creative Studio. So um, you basically open something big, it doesn't matter, you know, do something big like a shirt, and then you can uh, to um, import the, the PNG file, and that will show you how to design for the product. So um, if the template is not in Creative Studio, that's how you, you make it happen. Right, and actually I have four pieces of art to give out today. I was, it is, it's four. It's it's uh, three just regular standard patterns and then a name box pattern, which is really exciting because that's like an $8 pattern. So very, very cool. Um, all right, you ready, you ready to get started? Okay, guys. So the first thing that I have today, this is my thinking outside the box um, segment. Uh, this is a camp mug. This is item number CM11. And I have a, it comes with a box, which is cute. I have a full bleed under the handle and the handle template for the CM11 for the camp mug and on that note I want to give a huge shout out to Margie Beach at Wishbone Designs because Margie is actually the one that created this template for me so Margie in appreciation for that I am going to send you a customer appreciation box so thank you Margie I hope you're watching if not, that's okay. I'll email Carlos Monday, and we'll get that box sent to you. So Awesome. Thank you, Margie. Yes, and she even gave me the time and the temperature and all that good stuff. So we're going to do, uh, I've got a template just like we were doing on the mugs, and I'm going to wrap it around. You want to switch? So basically, you print it out, then, then cut along the lines, mm -hmm. and you're ready to put it on the mug, and you're going to use the subless shrink. Um, to hold it all together. Yep, yep, just like we did the uh, the 11 ounce mug. So, oh yeah. Awesome. You awesome. want to change the camera camera angle yeah, there, buddy? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So. Oh no, you get for, so excited uh, you forget what you're doing. Oh, absolutely. I understand it. Absolutely. 
uh, around here, you got to stay excited, right? That's right. So that's much. That's right. Okay. Nope, that's you. There we go. There we go. There's me. Sorry I didn't have that on camera, guys. Uh, but um, basically, use the template, and yep. have you posted the template? Uh, nope, because I just got it finished today. There were just a couple of adjustments I needed to do, and uh, so hopefully it'll be up next week. So I'm just going to tape the middle part, and I'm going to tape the top and the bottom just because I want them to lay down nice and flat. All right, now the fun part, we get to subla shrink it. So for you that don't know what subla shrink is, it's really, it's an evolution in technology where instead of using a mug press or using a traditional mug wrap, we basically put it in a uh, clear bag that is um, that shrinks when hit with heat, and um, that is what anchors the transfer to the mug um, to make sure that the sublimation gas um, has a great uh, path to to get into the mug. Sublimation is a contact technology, um, but it does need some contact, and the, uh, the subla shrink provides that. So the subla shrink is available um, in a bunch of different um, uh, sizes um, and, and more on the way. I wonder, you know, by this time next year, I wonder how many sizes we will have. It will be, be tremendous. It will be tremendous. Um, all right. um, so we'll we'll sprite successfully trip the breaker. I wonder. Well, I, I have. I think I've got a workaround for tripping the breaker. Um, turn so turn the press off. Turn the press off first, and then. Cool. Yeah, just like that. Okay. There we go. That's it. That's all we got to do. Press goes back on. Unplug the heat gun. All right. We're going to... Okay. Oh, I forgot. Almost forgot. Okay. So I've got the... Uh, I've got it taped. I've got the shrink film pulled. And then I've got... Ah, the handle. The handle. I almost forgot the handle. So I've got this little piece that I'm going to put on the handle. So the way that I've discovered the easiest way for me to do this is to just take a little piece, tape the top down... So I can have it nice and sturdy, and then I'm going to take take a longer piece and just run it down the whole length of my image. Okay, I'm going to add one more little piece on the bottom because I didn't quite get it all the way. Okay, here we go. Now, 375 for six minutes. Okay, we've got a timer. All right, let's go. Let's go. Shoot me back to the front. Now, your actual time um, will vary according to the heat output or power of your, your, um, your oven. So, black is the last color to sublimate. So, if you're looking to calibrate um, your, your oven, probably a good first step is to do a solid black transfer. Then you can be very critical with looking it over, see if it's done. If you overheat... Um, a substrate it will the black will will tend to turn brown so that's your sign if your heat is not even in your oven then you'll have one section that's brown and the rest will be black and a um, little bit of a challenge so I have a question about the subla shrink Let's see if you can go over here and if mm. I needed to use all of that subla shrink or could I have cut the top off and yeah I could have definitely cut the top off I didn't have to use all of that uh, I am using the SF79, so that you means it's... Up, uh, you can go ahead and go back down. I think that was, that was it. Um, I think... Um, I think you can, I, I know that you can use the SF76 because 9 is the, is the, 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 link, uh, the height of it, 7 is the width of it. So anything that's 7 inches you can use. And then Larry said he was doing a stainless mug with the shrink wrap and it stuck to the mug. Um, is there an easy way to remove it? What I would suggest is heat it, hit it, hitting it back with your heat gun or sticking it back in the oven for just a second 
and that way uh, it'll it'll you know it'll loosen it up a little bit and you can take it off if you have that problem in the future what I would suggest doing is taking butcher paper and wrapping your mug with butcher paper before you put it in the sublet shrink okay that's hot all right let's not set that anywhere it's gonna be an issue okay all right but guys. If, it, if it melts to it um, you should be able to get it off it yeah, may be just, just a little bit back up time consuming mm -hmm. but it, it it will absolutely come off um, the, the the results and the value that you can add to the products by using this is amazing okay let's move on to our very first new product so I don't know if you guys notice we have a new plant in here today so um, on this new plant we have a new garden state or garden uh, flag so this is our linen garden flag this is JDW 7 66, I think. Let me Let's see. Let's see if we can zoom in and see yeah. this critter here. That's beautiful. Thanks, 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 thanks. We're going to do a full bleed one here in just a second. So, so there's two sizes. Big yes, and small. there are two sizes. The sizes are 10.5 by 15. That's the JDW 766. And then the JDW 765 is the 12 by 18. Um, Angela asked if the additional butcher paper will cause the time to increase, and no, ma'am. Not at all. No. Not at all. So, all right, let's do one of these guys. We're going to do the big one today. And this is the 12 by 18. Uh, this is JDW 766. So. And uh, explain what you're doing there. Okay, so. This is our, our, our very first shipment of this linen, and we've noticed that it, it, if you press the uh, hem part underneath the seam, or I'm sorry, underneath the heat, it likes to stick together. So I just took a little strip of Teflon, maybe a, you know, a half inch to, a, uh, yeah, about a half inch thick, and I'm just kind of just feeding it through the top part of the, uh, the flag. Now, you don't have to do this. Um, one of the things I noticed that is if you take the linen flag out of the heat um, the adhesive is still kind of tacky so you can uh, you know maybe like force a rod in there or something but if it cools that adhesive is going to be permanent so this was my uh, second best uh, neck my my next best solution was to put this piece of Teflon through here so I'm gonna press both sides with the Teflon in it first thing I'm gonna do is sticky lint roll I am going to do a pre-press to get all the moisture out. Now I'm just going to do a quick, maybe 10 second pre-press. Just get the moisture out, get the, uh, get any of the wrinkles out. Okay. All right. So now that it has been pre-pressed, I'm going to take my design. And this is one of those great designs that you will be able to win today. This is our, um... I think it's called palm silhouette pattern. So I'm going to use some pro spray. When do you have time to do these things? That's a really good question. In uh, my sleep. So the computer just sort of runs by itself and moves around. That's, that's wild. It's all that AI happening right here. Okay. That's it. That's it. So we're going to line it up. Yeah, Pro Spray is is um, is an ideal solution for anchoring the substrate to the transfer. Assuming the transfer is dry, um, it should work out very well. So, I always recommend that you you place the transfer um, oh. under the heat press to um, dry it. Make sure it's dry. Oh, that so was, that was six minutes. Um, 
Who's cook who's cooking in the sublimation kitchen? That here, would be you Sprite. Know? Sprite's in the kitchen here. Okay. Why do I have I have two right-handed gloves? Oh my gosh! Every single uh -huh. glove I have is a right-handed glove. I think that's that, that's bound to be a personal. Problem, every man. I have four gloves, and every single one of them are right-handed gloves. Okay, that's fine. Wow. wow, that's fine. Why do I have a feeling you stole all my left-handed gloves, David? You know, it, it, it I would seem to be the culprit here, um, but no, I didn't do it. Um, Not it wasn't you this time, huh? No, so I um. Okay. That was amazing. And I want you to I want you to see that real quick. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. 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 I did you? I did one earlier and David said, um well, you, you didn't line up the back of it. So Yeah, I'm sorry. That's okay. It's just me That's and That's all right. So and, here's the um, back of it. You know, never quite happy with anything, right? Um so always want to figure out how to do better, but that's that is perfect. Isn't that nice? Isn't that's that nice? Perfect. All the way full, top to bottom, all the way underneath the handle, even a little bit of the handle. So obviously you could, you know, it's not a one kind of thing. You can put all the stuff in the oven. How many, I mean, this oven, we could hold a lot. Yeah. You put them in there and, you know, your Sprite's Easy Bake Oven and you're done in 15 or so minutes, that's right? That's right, that's right. So cool. All uh, right. That, that is, and, and thank you again. Um, to uh, Margie for it. Wow. That's right. That yes. Thank you, good. Margie. I appreciate that. Okay. So. I mean, that's is is it's crystal clear. Yeah. It looks great. Um, nice alignment. Um, very attractive. Wow. Yeah. Thanks. 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 All right. So, what's the next product? All right. That um needs. To, well, what's the next product to to do the full bleed on? We need to pick an. 15 ounce mug. 15 ounce. Yeah, I'm okay. working on the 15 ounce mugs. Um, I'm working on it. And guys, if you want the 11 ounce mug template, guess what? It's on the website. So just go to any of the 11 ounce mugs, and there it is. You can download it. I think you need to. We're looking at our one of our lights somewhere. So. Say again. I see the light in the corner. I think you're off the side a little bit. All right. Oh, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. I'm slow. That's okay. It's been a day today. You know, it, it, um, it's been a really good day here as we prepare to go to Long Beach. Um, we leave Tuesday. Setup is Wednesday. The show is Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, then we, we come home. So I think uh, the crew is all taught for people out in that area. Um, the crew was talking about going to um, what I call Wally World. I guess nobody knows what Wally World is anymore. From uh, was it Christmas or uh, National, National Lampoon? Vacation, but yeah. um, it's Disneyland, and of course we're closer to Disney World. Um, so um, I've been to Disneyland once, I think. So looking forward to seeing if, if uh, we're going to make that trip. So that would be fun. That'd be a lot of um, fun. That's awesome. We've got a couple of Disney fans here that really love it. Um, and yeah, so I, I had I had somebody comment to leave Jeff at home and take Sprite. Uh, you know, um, it probably is a wise thing, um, but maybe a tad bit too late. Um, oh, well. So, but I think the next show coming up um, is it Columbus, I think Ohio, so. I something think like so. that. Mm -hmm. So um, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? All right, guys. So um, our normal normal linen we do for a minute but because i'm doing this full bleed and it is a 12 by 18 i'm doing this one for a minute and 15 seconds uh light to medium pressure 400 degrees so yeah we have noticed that um there is a a tiny bit bit of what we call shrinkage in the linen so uh, pre-pressing it probably will tighten it up a little bit if you're ultra critical um, which it's okay to be um, you can see it a little bit when things shrink, they shrink from the outside in. 
So there'll be, you know, a little bit of an outside ghost image if you look really, really critical. Um, but if you hit it with heat, um, it should minimize it. You, you'll know a shrinkage is at the center, pretty much everything is fine, but as you go to the extremities, and, and fabric does sort of shrink somewhat linear um, kind of thing. So how'd it do? It looks really good. It looks really good. So, yeah. Good deal. Yeah, yeah, Good deal. yeah, yeah. And um, so we're, we're ready for the pole there. So yep. that's awesome. So we, we can put it on the and pole And we now. do sell the pole. Um, sell or you pole. can look for a pole at your um, locally, things like that. Um, I'm not sure of all the sources that, that, that you can get poles, but um, we sell a nice one. Yep. Um, so I'm actually going to do the second side. I'm just going to go ahead and get that done and then we can take the Teflon out and then it'll be ready for the poles. So here's the second side. Yeah. So this it's uh, it's 12 by 18 mm -hmm. um, and um, I'll go back to it's um, 12 by 18 so um, really um, you'll need you know printer like a SG800, um, 7100, 7700 those kind of printers or an Epson printer that does uh, Super A3 and um, um, you know 13 by 19, 13 by 21. I've gotten to where I favor the 13 by 21 paper um, and it may not be obvious to people why. I wonder if anyone can really guess. But what I like to do is to um, uh, put on the paper there at the bottom a little little blurb about um, who made this product and then you can you know like on the back side you could flip it over and sublimate to the back side um, your reorder information the part number for the product whatever you wanted um, in this case we're doing double side so you could you could um, subtly put it somewhere if you wish um, but all the products you sell really should have some information on them to to let people know where they can buy more. Put us back front. So Angela, right. I'm sorry I didn't get your your question before I did it, but um, it does not bleed through. So this is a um, it's a two ply material. So it's um, it's linen and then it's more linen and so they're. So you think it's different from the placemats? Um, or you think it's the same? It feels different. It does feel different. It feels well. Maybe. You know, I don't can know. can I you don't feel know. the two layers in the uh, placement? And so, um, it, it, it because it's really polyester, um, it should it should do well outside, uh, robust. Um,
Let me know if, yep, we can, we're if, back. if it's back. Can you turn it up a little bit or if that's too much? I uh, absolutely can do my best to turn yep. it up. Sorry, guys. It is storming here, so hopefully, um, hopefully that'll do it. No sound. Well, I think it, it um, yeah. may be back now. All right, it you guys. It looks like it's back. Let me know if it comes back, sound comes back, sound is out, sound is out. Shoot us um, it, it may spinning. Have been. Yeah, yeah, with the bad weather we're having here, so sorry about that. Um, okay, what's All next? All right. Well, so next up we have some more Unisub textured products. Yay. All right, so first thing we're going to do is our sound gone on both speeds. Um, well, I guess we could do sign language. I know, a little sign language. Yep, yep. Um, Houston, we have a problem. Okay. Alice. Yep. Sorry, can't um, read lips. Let me see Write us here. a note to let us know you know we can't hear you. <laughs> so it's showing is pushing sound. So let me see if I can um, uh, do another one here. All right. Let's see here. One, two. One, two. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. It's right here. Nope. One, two. All right. One, two. One, two. One, two. I think uh, okay. that's, that should do it. How that happened, I don't know. I it's have, not. Oh, it's not. I have no idea. Well, um, up. That's very weird. Very weird. One, two. Okay. All right. Okay, good. We are back. Good, good. We are back. We are back. Boy, that's a weird one. Sorry. All right. Sorry, guys. And then, of course, YouTube does that again. All right. All right. What next, Miss Bright? Next. What is next? Next. We have a new textured heart, uh, MDF panel. This is our U4824. This is our 6x6 MDF textured panel. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna print this. We're gonna print this. Yeah. So next time, uh, maybe top, type in a note in your your um, uh, shipping notes online to get a sample of the the new texture. It comes in so many varieties now. Um, everything from a coaster to a Christmas ornament. I think there's two Christmas ornaments. Um, array of hardboard products. Um, some MDF products. Um, by the way, if if um, I wrote an old article on some of the acronyms we use for uh, sublimation, so if you, um, I've got a uh, class page for people who um, attend my classes. If you'll go to condi.com forward slash NBM, Nancy, Boy, Mary, um, that'll show you a collection of some of my favorite resources including my um, original article, 101 Tips and Tricks for Sublimation Success, which are, I think, for the most part, um, very much still valid today. So um, uh, take advantage of that page. Um, and, um, you know, so. Um, okay. You know, I've had a lot of uh, people that have been calling me about, um, they've sampled the new Jet Coal paper. And you know what's one of their favorite things about it? The lines on the back. The lines on the back. So the lines help you align things, you know. And so uh, really cool. That paper um, I helped and I worked with the company that made it called Koldenhoff. They are the original people who invented sublimation paper. Uh, they're in the Netherlands. At any rate, um, I think it, it may be the best paper on the market at this point. Um, I think there's, you know, still a lot of testing, um, evaluation, and feedback from you, but um, it just looks like an amazing um, paper. So if you go to the website and search, you type in Jet Coal, J-E-T-C-O-L, 
you can see it, but um, um, very intriguing paper that releases um, essentially more ink than any paper I have ever seen. I was saying there's a lot of static. I'm so sorry. Turn that back down, Sprite. Yeah, I don't know. Are we too, li too loud, I wonder? I don't know, but there's a really, really long delay. Yeah, um, I think it's network issues potentially here. Apologize. Okay, no big deal. Sorry, guys. There's a buzzing. All right, so I did this 6x6 six six panel for 1 minute 30 seconds with a medium pressure. Oh, it looks good. Okay. Oh, wow. Isn't that nice? Yeah. So and that supports the kickstand on the this back, does. if you it wish. It supports the kickstand. So it's really good. So the texture was really designed just to increase the value of the product, um, both feel and look to it, um, and also uh, to mimic um, canvas, you know, how it looks on, on the piece of, of canvas so yeah, just um, excellent I, it's one of those kinds of things where video and a camera just doesn't do it justice uh, you need to put in your hand I think the I predict that the textured Christmas ornaments are, are going to be a big hit this year because again everybody's looking for something unique um, something they haven't seen before a gift for someone uh, so so be sure to take advantage of it speaking uh, around Christmas ornaments one of the things that you ought to do is be calling on organizations that may have fundraisers in the fall or Christmas, but certainly in the fall could be team sports, whatever, and work a, a sublimated item into the fundraising uh, area. So it's a great market, uh, so um, certainly do that. I wonder, I, I assume that the ornaments are double-sided, but I, don't, yes. I can't remember. Yes, yeah. they are. All right, um, so the next product we have, this is a 11 by 14 piece of MDF, and this is item number U4827. Now, with this one, you only have two keyholes. You only have one on the top and one on the side, so you want to make sure that you orient it correctly on your artwork. And then I'm just going to tape it down. Yeah, I think the other day we had a couple of things fall off our wall of shame, you know. Maybe it was getting too heavy or something. Um, God knows I've made my share of mistakes. Sprite, I think, makes less mistakes than I do. I always make mistakes live on television. That's how my mistakes happen. So we're going to yeah. do the 11 by 14 for two minutes, 400 degrees, uh, nice medium pressure. Yeah. Uh, one thing to keep in mind as your, your press ages is every once in a while, uh, do a couple of things to your press, mainly three things. Number one is get you some sort of temperature measuring device. What I prefer is a digital metal candy thermometer. I get, got mine off eBay, I think, for like $7. Um, and place it underneath the, the, your heat press. Just lightly lower your press and verify your heat presses and calibration. Uh, number two is find out what parts of your press um, need to be lubricated with a high temp grease and you can see uh, point to the, the um, parts there underneath yeah those um, need to be, be lubricated I would say every three months um, just do it I do have a video showing you a little bit about that and then the third is um, maybe twice a year um, check and make sure your press is closing evenly um, if you don't have a press closing evenly, then ultimately you're going to get a spot, say, in the corner of a substrate where you're not getting a, um, uh, a good uh, transfer. And most of the presses do have um, some, um, um, some method of adjusting the press. So, um, Oh, I have a good question for you. And I, guys, I didn't turn my mic up. David turned up the mics. So everybody is saying that the buzzing started when I turned up my mic. So we're, we're going to blame that on David because David doesn't get enough credit for things. And so uh, absolutely. I need more, more you blame. You need more credit. Yeah, um, try it on the input on, on Minicam so you can turn it down there. So Tony says, 
I do a lot of MDF. Is your profile better than Sawgrass's for non-photo printers? Okay, um, yes. So we, and it really comes down to what program you print from. So the question is, what's the best way to print for color accuracy um, and really for quality? And if you're using a program like uh, an Adobe product or a Corel product, then our method of doing it is called SpectraFusion. It's included with the purchase of your printer. If you did not buy your printer from us and you're buying your supplies, inks and paper and things like that, then we will provide it to you at no charge. Um, and what it does is it, it's an ICC profile that hooks directly into the color engine of Corel and Adobe products. By doing that, essentially you're guaranteed to have the best color um, because it, it's like, you know, uh, you know, like five people in a line and each person tells the next person, you know, a complicated sentence and that person has to repeat it. There are things that are simply lost in translation. And uh, by having that profile integrate directly into, in the case of Adobe, it has what's called the ACE color engine. Um, Corel uses the, the CIE standard, um, so does Adobe for that matter. But at any rate, by integrating the profile in there, um, you're going to have the best color conversion from the internal color space of those products, which is, is called LAB, um, to the color space of the printer, which is just a CMYK color space uh, for, for the Virtuosos and Ricos. You're going to have the, the, the best conversion, the most accurate conversion. And so you get the best color. Um, now, garbage in is still garbage out. Um, wow, that's nice. So, you know, standard rules apply, but you can call and um, we should be able to help you. Now, for folks that are using uh, Creative Studio, um, you will be using Sawgrass's uh, Virtuoso Print Manager uh, because that is integrated into the Creative Studio. So, that's how you want to want to print from, that's the only way to print from Creative Studio. And, you know, I would say Creative Studio has really come a long ways and is a, is a very nice way to get started in sublimation um, with um, clip art, with the templates. Um, and the best part is Sawgrass is up their game by offering premium uh, clip arts uh, in there. Um, I've not taken much of a look, and so if you've got some feedback, um, then um, we'd love to hear from you. But I talk to people all the time, and it's a, it's a, it's a great painless way to get started with sublimation. All right, guys, I did this. And I see my friend over here, Kevin Lumber. Kevin, I hope you're doing well. Um, used to work for one of our um, awesome competitors. And um, so um, Kevin's a great guy, absolutely great guy, extremely knowledgeable. Well, hi, Kevin. Thanks for watching. All right, so this is our 11 by 14 textured unisub MDF panel. So I've had a couple questions. This is not canvas. This is not tile. This is MDF. So this is medium density fiberboard. And yeah, I don't know if you guys can see the texture in it, but it is just really, That is really such cool. a very substantial piece. Um, easily could sell for $129 um, um, and more depending on, uh, on what's on it. Hanging on the wall, um, just a you know, just a fantastic product. And, you know, it just goes to show you when the great folks at Universal Woods come out with a new um, new coating technology, they can apply it to, um, you know, the, many of their, their substrates, like in this case, hardboard and MDF. All right, I've got one more thing for you. That's it, just one more thing. So the last thing that I have is an 8 by 10 hardboard panel. So this is a lot thinner. This is actually, uh, I think, a quarter inch, where the other one is um, 0.625, and this one is 0.25. So this is the third pattern that you guys can win. This is our Aztec modern pattern. 
That and young lady doesn't look like Sprite, is that you? I guess That not. is not no. me. I don't put pictures of myself on things because all I have to do is turn on Facebook and YouTube and I'm all over there, which is great. <laughs> which is great. I love it. We need, we need a, um, uh, we'll call it a vintage photograph of you on something. Just see what you look like, um, um, you know, and Sprite went to our local high school here and um, um, probably knew lots of my wife's relatives there, you know? You know what's funny is that I had a friend of mine post a picture of me from when I was 16 years old on my Facebook page, and other than the lack of tattoos, I look the exact same. Same short hair, same, I just wow. doesn't change. So I got my good jeans from my mom. Thanks, mom. All right, so this one is the eight by 10. This is U4837. We're gonna do this one for one minute and 45 seconds. Okay, and we're going to do a nice medium pressure, 400 degrees. Sorry guys, I can see that we're jumping in and out, and I know that we keep, fr uh, we keep uh, uh, freezing and everything, and I'm sorry, it's just the weather. So, uh, lots of great comments, and there, there's a ton of people watching. Yeah. Um, so, um, uh, hmm. Yeah, right. Tony, good to good to hear from you, um, Cheryl and Michelle. Uh, something about Ted helped me with an update to Spectrofusion today. Yay! Um, so it, it's one of the tips while we're pressing here is ultimately the way you can test your system is by printing a grayscale, and it can be you know vector colors, RGB vector colors, um, or it can be you know raster RGB. Uh, grayscale, but if it's if it's gray across the scale to a large extent, um, that very much indicates that things are good with with how you're doing things. Um, if the system is any in any way not balanced, then gray will not be gray. Um, so um, it's just putting all the parts together. You know, when we troubleshoot an issue or when we're helping people learn. Um, you, you really have three areas you want to make sure you're focusing on computer, the printer, the heat press. And the printer is generally printing on the correct paper, correct side, printing with a good nozzle check, um, and, and you're there. Heat press, of course, is time, temperature, uh, pressure, and technique. Technique's what's on top, what's on bottom. So um, with sublimation, to some extent, it's a matter of just like football or any other sport, it's a matter of doing the fundamentals. Um, you know, occasionally we'll get into a troubleshooting, and um, you know, um, we're, we're we're troubleshooting at a very high level when ultimately the the issue really is at a very low level. We didn't go back to check the fundamentals. That's very attractive. And do you have a little kickstand for it? I do have kickstands for it. Um, so Nancy says my VPM won't let me choose Sublajet. HD inks when using Easy Subly. Okay, Nancy, so there's, you can, so if you're using the Easy Subly inks, you need, I'm sorry, if you're using the Easy Subly vinyl, you need to choose, if you're using the Easy Subly vinyl with Sublajet HD inks through VPM, you still need to choose the Caesar Easy Subly ink. And that's all you need to do is just choose the, well, you're not choosing the inks. What you're choosing is the, the Caesar, Caesar edition. edition of VPM. And so for people that don't understand what we're saying, um, there's a great new um, printable vinyl product out there called Easy Subly. And um, you can put it in the tray. You can print directly on it with your, your printer. We have had outstanding success with the existing printers on the market, from the Ricos, the Epsons, to the, the Sawgrass with the Sublojet HD inks, um, just good. And, and the folks at Sawgrass and Caesar have brought out a new ink called the Easy Subly ink. And, um, you know, I would say that I don't see an advantage of going to that ink because the results we're getting with what we have um, certainly are as good as the Easy Subway Ink, if not better. So, so stay with what you got. Don't don't buy anything new. But when you go to print, 
you need to print a little bit different. And there's two ways you can print. Uh, one is through the spectrofusion method, and that would be good for, you know, Corel, Photoshop, um, Silhouette, those kinds of things. And we have a profile that we, um, we include for the Caesar Easy Subly vinyl. And so uh, we can, our tech support can get you set up. For people that, that want to use VPM, uh, could be they're using Creative Studio, but for whatever reason, um, you would go in and select the Caesar edition of VPM and then print. Um, there, there is not another setting that you need to choose. And is your video out? Um, you know, I, uh, no. Hopefully it'll be out. Okay. We had to make some changes to it. All right, so um, we have a video that just walks you through um, sort of our our knowledge base on the um, easy subly, but at this point in time, um, Sprite's been having lots of fun with it, and uh, we hopefully have lots of of some of her things to show um, at the at the show. Oh yeah, you got some cool samples at the show. Uh, so Nancy, yeah, I mean, you know, so you have to set up your edition in VPM. So if you're set up to use the Caesar edition then you can only choose the Caesar inks. But you can switch back to the Sawgrass edition, and then that way it will let you choose your Sawgrass inks. So, all right, guys, let me show you this last one. This is an 8x10, and this is that really cute Aztec modern pattern. So once again, this is the textured stuff. I love it. It's got this, you know, really cute matte finish, and it kind of gives it like a canvas look. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But I'm going to back the camera off so the focus okay. is better. It looks outstanding. So it's a semi-matte would be the best way to, to characterize it with outstanding saturated colors. It just, it just pops. I mean, you know, there's no technology, in my opinion, that, that pops like sublimation when it com comes to um, both a balance of detail and um, and vibrancy, just absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. All right, that's all I got for pressing. So let's talk about doing guess the weight. But first, let me talk about the rules. So are there are there rules? There are rules. There, there are rules. rules. There have to be rules. Okay, so one guess per person. Only your first guess will win, will qualify. One guess per platform. So you can only vote on YouTube or you can only guess on, on Facebook. Uh, guesses should be expressed in pounds, 1.2, 3.6, etc. Not one pound, six ounces. The winning weight will be the first guess closest to, but not over, the total combined weight of the products. Two prizes will be awarded, one on Facebook, one on YouTube. Free shipping in the continental U.S. only. Cannot win twice within 90 days. For, uh, winner wins a blank of everything that I gave. I pressed. So, the items that we are doing today are both of the garden flags, the camp mug, and then our three different sizes of plaques. So, tell me how much do you think it weighs and go. Wow. Okay. Wow. All right. So, while we are waiting on you guys to calculate the weight, I want to give some other stuff away. The first thing I want to give away is, like I said earlier and uh, in the broadcast, we always, I like to always give away $25 in Condi credit to someone that goes and leaves me a product review. And this week, my product review winner is Lauren Pope. Lauren uh, reviewed our Nina Image Clip Laser Light Transfer Paper, our 11 by 17. She said, this paper is great. We have only been in business a few years, but we have churned out thousands of shirts with this paper. It's easy to use, it's not cracker peel, and our customers love the products they buy from us. And we have lots of repeat business. We definitely Good. recommend this product. Right. So just quick, what this product is, it's not sublimation. It would go in a color laser printer, and it's designed for light-colored shirts, and it is a... Um, you know, so we'll call it self-weeding, meaning after you print, you press it against another sheet, peel, and then what's left on the original sheet is only what should transfer to the shirt. So for all those who have done inkjet transfers before, this paper eliminates 
the excess uh, emulsion that is outside the image. In other words, you don't get the, the rectangle square on there. With that said, the paper is designed for artwork. It's designed for vector artwork, clip art, things like that. It is not going to be the best solution for a photograph. So um, um, I suggest you try it, uh, see what you think. Um, it, is, it is certainly an amazing product. Okay, we have so much of a delay that I can't even see the comments that are, are guessing the weight. So I'm going to assume you guys are busy guessing. And then in the interim, I'm going to give away another prize. And I'm going to give away, well, so uh, like we talked about by doing out the box today, we went out the box with our full wrap camp mug. And why did we go out the box? We went out the box because our new quarterly gallery contest is show me your best out of the box sublimation idea. So get creative, mixing medias, you know, doing something like this. Uh, and we will give away 400, 200, or $100 in Condi credit. But we also give away $25 every single week in Condi credit. If you go to our gallery page, upload, show me what you're doing, you could be entered in a chance for a chance to win $25. And today's winner is Southern Draw Legacy, and she did, these are our uh, Mug 15 SS's, these are our stainless steel mugs, wow, that is beautiful. and it's really cute, she did all the way top to bottom, almost handle to handle, really, wow, really what cute. what a great job. Yes. I take it she yes, probably yes. used the subless frame. Um, Good. you know, actually, no, she used, I think she used the, um, the mug press, because it's not quite all the way to the hand, it's not okay. full bleed, but that's the next thing we're, we're looking at, at getting one for these oh, too that'd be so. absolutely awesome yep and then circle oh, back right. on the wine, uh, stemless wine glass see what what new magic we can work on that i wonder if we can extend do more maybe we can okay i see i see some i see some some guesses coming in um so yeah david you got anything else for these beautiful people um trying to think of um some things else going on um Take advantage of the printers that are uh, printers on sale. Um, we don't often put our printers on sale, but today uh, would be a, a good day to get a printer. Um, you know, I, in my tips, the most important tip by far is documentation. And I'll have many clients that come by and visit. Today's been a busy, busy visiting day for folks. Um, and the number one tip is get you a notebook, document everything. Uh, document uh, what we're talking about, ideas, um, you know, your out-of-the-box ideas. Like, um, I'm going to do stacked products, but the bottom is going to be, say, MDF. The top is going to be metal, you know. There, there's so many great ideas out there. Uh, when they come to you, write them down. If you don't write them down, you're probably going to forget them. Um, and so... Documentation is just, just critical. And then the other one we, we talk about, but I love to repeat these because we really want to reinforce um, the, the, the best practices, if you will, to success is to um, create your wall of shame. Um, it's very difficult to help a client that calls up and says, well, I've tried everything, you know? Um, you know, what do you say to that? Um, you know, I've wasted a lot of product. Um, and, you know, I think sometimes us men, um, we don't want to make a mistake. So when we do make a mistake, we throw it away, want to forget that it ever happened, and you need to learn from your mistakes. You need to perfect it. Um, I talked to a lady today, and uh, she was very new, just getting her system set up. And I says, you know, when you think everything is good and you've uh, mastered your heat press and all that, I want you to print a photograph, print something that is is familiar to and get you out a sharpie marker and write on it the date whatever and how you print it how you transfer it and then if you ever think that your system is not working quite right well go to print again transfer it again and compare the one you did say six months or a year or two years ago um, to to what you did and that's going to let you know um, is your system uh, performing the same as it was and i can't tell you how critical that is especially when you're printing color charts. Um, and so after your system gets uh, stable, you're up and running, um, it's time to print a color chart 
and color charts will enable you um, to find the color you're looking for, find that spot color, find the school color, find the Pantone color you're looking for. So you'll print the color chart, you'll sublimate it um, onto, say, a big piece of metal or something, and the color charts we have most of the time, they're formatted in letter size. If you send an email to support, um, you can request um, the, the color chart, just mention what application. But certainly, um, you know, uh, people that are doing vector designs, you know, Corel, Illustrator, InDesign kind of folks um, need, need to be doing color charts. So do we have enough uh, information for you to make a um, winner? I do, I do. I have, I have two winners. All right. So my, my favorite squirrel, my squared squirrel, Nancy Jean on YouTube with a guess of 4.7 pounds. You are my YouTube winner. And then James Hendricks on Facebook with a guess of 4.8 pounds. You are exactly correct. You are my Facebook winner. So congratulations, guys. Wow. Congratulations. Thank That's you very fantastic. Much. I will be sending you your, um, your blank products next week. And then let me find... I'll, um, let me find a couple of... Uh, Hopefully we answered your questions. And I apologize if we didn't. Um, if we didn't, please, you know, sort of email me. Um, I'm at dgross at condi.com. And uh, Sprite is S. Wood. No, no S on the end. No S on the um, end. And um, support is support at condi.com. And um, if you need sales help, we have fantastic uh, consultative kind of salespeople. Um, please, by all means, take advantage of that. Um, be very helpful. All right, guys. So I didn't get up to my my views, but um, I think we had a lot. Okay, we did have a lot, and with the storm, it is what it is. So all right. So the weight was 4.8 pounds, and now I'm going to give away all four of my designs. So I have the flower pattern, um, which is. Where is, which one is the flower? Oh, the flower pattern, which is the mug. I have the Aztec pattern, which is this panel. I'm trying to do this backwards. I have the um, palm silhouette pattern, which is this one. And then I also have the main box pattern. And those two are going to Cheryl Arnold on Facebook and Adorable Asia on YouTube. Awesome. So, yes. So Cheryl and Aisha, please email me at swood at condi.com. If you do not email me, I have no way to send you your design. So all of my winners, um, Cheryl, Aisha, Nancy, James, please email me at swood at condi.com. So let me ask you a question. So if, if somebody did not win it, mm -hmm. but wants it, how do they get it? Oh, you can go to condidesign.com. All of these designs. We, we really forget to mention that. that I, I try that to, but they're, yes. They're for sale for almost nothing. Almost nothing. Um, That's right. And uh, somebody here, I don't know who, has started posting um, some of these patterns on Etsy. Yeah. yeah um, that's right. And so I don't know how to find our Etsy store, but, um, you know, there's, there's just such a hunger for good um, art. Um, and so Sprite works a little hard out to provide you with ways to make lots of money on it and um, really very few restrictions other than you can't sell the same digital pattern. Um, but, right. but take advantage of it. We only do this for you. It's not what you would call a money maker for us. Um, and uh, as you have suggestions, let us know. Anything else? That's all I got, guys. Well, till next time, we thank you, and please have a safe weekend. And if all goes well, the next broadcast hopefully will be from Long Beach, California, there at the trade show on Friday. And so uh, we'll figure out a way to get that done. It may be possibly Saturday morning. Um, it really depends on, of course, how busy the show is. I expect the show to be very, very busy, so we what we may do is uh, get there a little early on Saturday. Of course, um, you know Pacific time um, will be um, uh, you know good for everybody. I think so. 
Thank you all, and uh, do appreciate it. Take care.